Hi and welcome to this new video and in this video I'm talking about what steps you need to go through in order to get micro quads in Velostrone. We have a couple of customers who've had some issues understanding what the process is or feel, thinking that they need to download something and I'm just going to run through the process here very quickly and just show you how you go from having a Velostrone standard license to being able to fly the micro quads. Okay, so the first thing you need to realize is that the micro quads are a premium upgrade to Velostrone. What that means is if you've got a standard Velostrone license, the micro quads are not in there. You need to go to our website and on the shop page on the website, you'll see that here is the standard Velostrone license, which includes five inch quads and all the usual stuff. And then there are premium content packs here, which there are three and the micro class quads is one of them. You add that to your cart, you buy it, it's four pounds, five dollars, and that then gives you access to the micro quads. There is nothing to download from the Lost Drone website. Once you've done this and you've bought it, you don't need to try and find something to download. There is no, nothing to download. When you buy this, it basically turns on some settings in your license which enables the quads in the sim. They're already in there, they're just disabled for you as a user until you buy this content upgrade. Okay, so that's all you need to do on the website. Then you need to make sure that your sim is the latest version. So if you have a shortcut on your desktop that you've created in order to run Velostrone, then that shortcut will be running the app which is inside of here this Velostrone.exe and this Velostrone.exe if you keep running that via a shortcut does not update the sim when we do updates so you need to make sure that you run the launcher because it's the launcher that updates the sim and gets you the new content and the micro quads were a new addition to the latest version of the sim so if you have not run the launcher for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks then you will not have the new content or the new version of the sim that has those micro quads in it so it doesn't matter if you go to the website and you buy the micro pack if you haven't updated your sim you will not have micro quads so you can you could be an owner of the micro pack but if you're on a back level sim well I'm sorry they're not in there you need to run the launcher in order to get the upgrade the launcher will update your sim now as we'll see here mine will connect and then it's basically going to say there's nothing to download because i'm already up to date or at least i think i'm up to date i haven't run it in a while yep okay so it's all done nothing to download and you can actually look in the change log here and it will tell you what level your sim is currently at so i'm at the current latest level which is 1155 which had the update to the tiny hawk and the beta fp75 and so on and it was this update here 1145 which actually added the micro quads and all the rest of it into the into the sim so you must be at the latest version so once you're at the latest version you click play in order to run the sim wait for us to get in here okay so when the sim comes up another way you can tell that you're on the latest version that has got the micro quads within it is that down here it will say discord server link because this was new on the the latest update before this there was actually uh, this wasn't something you could click because if you click this this actually takes you to the discord server and if you click this it takes you to our facebook page but before this update these weren't clickable and actually it had the address of the discord server down here it didn't say discord server link so this is another way you tell that you're on the latest version is if you have discord server link down here then you, you're all good everything's fine so the next thing you need to do is to find the new content so if we just go single player and 
what you're likely to see in here if it's a um, if you haven't added any micro because you can see here on on, uh, on my sim I've already added micro quads here for me to fly and mega quads and all sorts but if you if you're if you've only just upgraded to the micro pack you'll only see five inch quads in this list here um, you might only see if you're an, somebody who's bought the sim new you probably only see an oblivion my oblivion in this list here okay so let's assume that you've only got the oblivion so I'll select the oblivion and we'll click select quad this will take us to the scenery selector and one way to tell if you've got the micro quads enabled is you'll have the new scenes so house for instance is a new scene so you should see the house scene and these tracks and also library is a new scene so you should see library and nightclub is also a new scene so you should see nightclub so that's another indicator that you've purchased the micro pack you're on the latest level and you can see the new scenes that are part of that pack so this is just basically verifying that everything's good you got the new scenes because they were part of that pack that you bought part of the micro pack the next thing is well where are the quads because you won't see them in your list here because you haven't added them to your this is like this list of quads here when you come in here is like your personal hanger of quads and you haven't added the quads to your personal hanger so you have to go up here to add quad and when you go to add quad you then get a list of all the possible quads that you could add into your sim now I own both the micro quad pack and the mega quad pack so you can see the four new micro quads at the top here and then the six uh, mega quads and then after those you get the standard five inch quads that you get in the basic default sim license so you just need to go all the way to the top here pick whichever micro quad you want to run so I mean let's let's have another beta 75x for example so here's the beta 75 click select model and give it a name so we'll call this b75-2 Oh, don't let me do a two. So we just call this B. Let's call this Beta 75 two. There we go. Click save. Then once you've saved it, you just click back, and then you'll see in your list here Beta 75 two. You can now select that quad and go fly it in your new scenes. So that's pretty much everything you need to know. I hope, uh, and hopefully helps people navigate their, their way through how you go from not owning the micro pack to adding it or buying it updating your sim and then finding the new content within your sim okay so that's it and i'll see you on the next video